We also want you to notice just how upright this person's posture is. Dressed in all black, police say the potential Stockton serial killer walks tall with his hands in his pocket and mask covering his face. And when you all see the video, I want you to pay close attention to the uneven stride that this person has. Police have finally identified this man as the person connected to seven serial killings. The suspect has a pattern. All seven victims were alone and ambushed in the dark, but one of the killer's victims survived, identifying this man as being 5'10 to 6 feet in height and thin. Tuesday's press conference revealed the suspect's killing spree timeline. There were only six days between his first and second attack. He didn't strike again for 448 days. Then the crimes became more frequent. Between the third and fourth crime, 34 days. The fourth and fifth, 19 days. The fifth and sixth, 22 days. And finally, only six days between his sixth and seventh kill. There's been so many killings around Stockton. Kathy is the big sister of Lorenzo Lopez, who was killed on Porter Avenue. When you watch this man dressed in head to toe black, even just for a few seconds, what goes through your mind? Anger. I'm just a fear that my brother must have had during that moment. Kathy, who's not comfortable showing her face on camera, feels bonded to the other family members who've lost loved ones and for her are complete strangers. We know exactly what you're going through right now, and we have to stay strong. Stockton Mayor Kevin Lincoln spoke out for the first time Tuesday, calling on the community to help. You're empowered right now to submit information that you may know that leads to the arrest of, of an individual or individuals that are responsible for these murders.